What is going on everyone? It is time for another potential test in MLB 16 The Show. Today we will take a player, put him through the potential test five seasons. What is he going to grow to? Remember, this series is about you, the viewer. Let me in the comments down below who you want to see in a future episode. But today, we're testing Blake Snell. We're going back to a pitcher. We don't do these guys too often, but Blake Snell, 23 years old. He's in the Tampa Bay Rays organization. He's a lefty, 6'4", tall guy, 180, 8 potential, 70 overall. Some good stamina. He's going to start out on happy so he is actually a true 71 he's unhappy about the contract as always but here we go season number one what's he gonna grow to a 74 not bad so he goes up three stamina is not gonna change as it normally doesn't plus one to hit plus three to k plus four to walks one to home run four to clutch three to control and then threes to his fielding arm and two to reaction those attributes not as important as the yellow ones though yellow orange whatever you want to call him. So some good growth there from Snell, but taking a look at his numbers from the season, not great. The win-loss at least, 6-18, and 18, 175 innings pitch, 91 walks, only 138 strikeouts, a 5-3-90 array and a 1-6-9 whip. Not a good year. He is going to be satisfied, though, so he is a true three-point growth in his overall. But let's just kind of forget about this first season. Hopefully he doesn't repeat it. But on to season number two, he's going to go to a 77. Okay, so some con consistent growth. He is going to have plus two to his home run, three to K, five to walks, five to home runs, three to clutch, two to control, and then the fielding stats. Seven and 15 this season, 174 in his pitch, 88 walks is down, strikeouts up to 150. The air ray is up to 543, and the whip is up to 173. That's ouch. Is going to remain satisfied, though. Still not happy, so is a true 77 after two seasons. Not the best numbers we like to see, but here, right, here we go. Let's see if we can change this here. Season number three, up to an 80. So, again, three points, consistent growth. He's going to go up two in his hitting, three in Ks, one in walks, four in home runs, three to clutch, three to control, and then three across the board to his fielding stats. That is not really important but looking at the numbers come on give me a good season all right this is better 11 and 14 182 and he's pitched 86 walks down again strikeouts are up again 166 the area is way down to 424 we'd still like to see that lower and the whip is down as well to 149 so still not a great season but a much better season than the last two and he is still satisfied so that is another true three point growth in his overall so here we go last two seasons let's see um, some big growth here in this one season number four is going to be up to an 84. Okay, so plus one to hits, three to Ks, two to walks. The home runs don't change, three to clutch, and a control. And then fielding stats. He's going to go 7 and 15, 180, 180 innings pitch, excuse me, 81 walks, 149 strikeouts, 494 ERA, and a 156 whip. So actually, they go back up again. The strikeouts are down, the walks are down again, but still not a, a super impressive season. And he is going to be happy. So he does. Uh, he's only going to go up two points here. It gets an extra two because of his morale. So things, I'm going to be honest, not looking good for Snell here. On to season number five, last chance. Let's see some growth here. And he's an 87. We'll have to see what the morale is playing into that. But three to hits, three to Ks, four to walks, three to home run, two to clutch, and three to control. Two is across the board for his field in stats. But taking a look at the numbers, let's see some good numbers here. All right, 10 and 9, 211 in his pitch. Very nice. The walks are down to 77. The strikeout's way up to 194. The ERA is below 4 at 397. And the whip is at 144. A very, very good season for Blake Snell there. His best by far of the five years. He is going to be happy, though. He does pick up plus three to his base overall. And then getting the extra two because of his happiness. So, Ending at an 87, and Blake Snell is a weird one here. He is an A potential, and it looks like he's growing to that. He's 27 years old, so he's probably got a couple more years of solid growth. So I would say he should end up in the 90s, but heading out of this potential test with Blake Snell, I'm a little iffy here. He's definitely not, I don't think, an ace in any means. Maybe not even a second starter, but third or fourth starter I think could be very solid in the middle of your rotation. And definitely as a lefty, I think could be pretty good for a lefty, but... If he could repeat his fifth season a couple times, I think he definitely would be a great option. But if you get, if you're going to get consistency with those first couple seasons, then I, I don't know if I can suggest Snell in this situation. If you are the Rays, I would maybe take advantage of his potential and maybe trade him away for some other prospects because you could probably turn this guy into a couple different prospects or maybe an established veteran. And if you're not the Rays, I would maybe shy away from him unless you can get him for a good price because I think he could be a solid starter. But in my experience here, 
he was not the best option, does not put up the best numbers, and maybe doesn't have the, the best attributes to set himself up as a successful Major League player. So, Blake Snell, you are down to the potential test. Remember this series, again, for you, the viewers, let me know in the comment down below who you want to see in a future episode, and I will use them in a potential test. But that is going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it, and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.